Hi folks, welcome to another episode of NYC CNC. Earlier this week I posted a video on my new Whitney 30 ton punch press. What I didn't mention was that I was actually really disappointed in the press when I got it. The reason I was disappointed is I wanted to punch quarter inch holes with this machine. So I got the machine, I ordered a quarter inch die and punch, got home, put a piece of steel under it, and you'll see what happened. The stripper plate posts were just too far apart for some quarter inch material to hold up when the punch retracted. So I thought, hmm, that's not good. And I did some thinking and I realized, wait a minute here, let's just build my own stripper. As an aside, Whitney does sell something they call a bridge stripper, which I've never even seen it. It appears to be something similar in nature. Uh, I looked up the price tag a month or two ago and it was quite a few hundred dollars and I thought, hmm, no, that doesn't uh, make any sense. Let's figure out what I can do on my own. So this is what I came up with and it works great. What's awesome too, is that I made the larger piece here on my new Emco 13 inch lathe, something I could not have really done before. Those are um, single point cut threads, 16 threads per inch, and they turned out beautifully. It's a two piece design that I came up with, and that lets me separate this piece from this piece, which made it easier to make, um, and it makes it easier in the future. If I were to damage this bottom piece, or I wasn't sure if I would need to heat treat it or make it thicker, or maybe I'll want a smaller um, area here in the future. I thought, well, this, is, this makes it more universal. This part wasn't hard to make, but it took me a little bit more time. Um, I hadn't threaded much on the new machine, and I don't have tons of uh, three and four inch diameter stock around, so I thought, let's just see if I can uh, do this right the first time, and I just put some dowel pins in there. Um, the other reason this is great is not only were these stripper plates a problem for cut, punching quarter inch holes in quarter inch material, but using thinner, uh, like 10 or 16 gauge material like this um, would never withstand the retraction force of the punch. It would bend this no problem. Or if you just had a really small part, like say this, wouldn't even fit between the stripper plates. So this lets me solve a lot of problems all at once. So I'll show you how this works. I have to say I'm really proud of this piece. It's always fun to, to make stuff and to make something like this in-house. I didn't have to buy anything. I just conjured it up one night and had it working uh, the next morning. The uh, threads just turned out beautifully too on that, that I cut on that Emco lathe. It's a little tricky to get started sometimes. I'm also working with the camera right in front of my face. There we go. So it's hard to, t you know, you can't feel how thread feels on a camera watching a video, but hopefully you can see the way this is rotating in there, that it's just a beautiful fit. There are no burrs, there's no hang-ups, but boy, it's in there nice and solid. And then you just take your bottom stripper plate, like so, line it up, and it snaps right in. So you can see that's the setup. Now let's uh, show you how it works with the part. So we'll start off with a piece, I believe this is uh, 12 gauge. Falls right off, beautiful. Same thing, this is a part that I have a hole punched in, run it down, feel the punch hole in. <clears throat> and finally, here's a quarter inch piece, same piece that we bent earlier in the video. Find my uh, center mark here. Perfect. That's it for today, folks. If any of you out there have had experience with these uh, Whitney punches, I'd love to hear uh, input, feedback, tips, tricks, etc. I love mine, but I'm new to them. And then, you know, things like this stripper plate uh, I'm excited about. I'm sure there are some other cool things you can do with them, etc. If you've enjoyed this video, as always, folks, please comment, share, like it. Otherwise, take care, and I'll see you soon.